we are. Another abandoned storage unit just left the auction. For this storage unit, we paid $125. Let's hope we can make that back, plus a lot more. <laughs> So it's not the prettiest storage unit, but I think today was like mattress day for some reason. And we saw one without a mattress. Everybody was like, oh, jeebus, we got to get it now. So we bought it for $125. Let's see if we can make some money back. This is one of those things that caught my interest, but well, it's pretty empty. Besides a peel and stick sticker. But it's kind of a cool looking little treasure chest thingy at the front. Let's go into the next box. Oh, whoa. This looks like clothes, unfortunately. Ugh, well. All clothes, whole box of clothes, dollar a piece or so. We'll call that twenty dollar box. Next box. Oh boy, this is crumbled up newspapers and magazines. Hey, what not completely worthless. We can use this stuff for packing, I guess. Yeah. Um, Wait, they're all movies in here. Do they really wrap DVDs in newspapers? You realize these are practically worthless these days, right? Uh, these are all DVDs, so okay. I mean, we almost sold all of ours last time for a quarter a piece, but not very much money. I'm going to call that again another $15 box, maybe if we're lucky. Let's pull this little box out. It looks like junk. What is this? That is a blood pressure monitor. That might mm -hmm. have some value. But other than that, Feels like nothing, but then it's taped. Hmm, something really light. Let's see. Probably some type of little statue thingy, or a candle, a fake candle with batteries in it. Catch. I don't think that has much value, but this is the only thing so far that I think maybe have something, but I don't know. Next box from around the corner is yay! More used clothes. My favorite. Yeah. Well, guess we'll say the same thing. Maybe. <laughs> Ten dollars or so. What's up, guys? Hope you're having a great day. I feel like I haven't been in a storage unit video in a while, but I'm here now, so let's keep going through this. Let's go some of this stuff out of the way. Oh, look, a Game Boy Advance game. As soon as Fire you, emblem. As soon as you take over, you find a Game Boy game. Put in that right there. Oh my God! Did you see the way it dropped? It's not gonna work now. Uh, let's see what we got here. It's like a little clock thing. Ooh, that's old. Look at that plug. Oh yeah, definitely. I wonder what it is. I mean, obviously clock, but What's any the other. Name on it? Something it? electronic. I can't. Uh, tell. General Electric. Oh, cool. That cool. Got some value. Set that aside right here. I'm just gonna let you start going in there. <laughs> so let's see what's in this box. Unfortunately, it is pretty taped up. So let me get into it first. Got it open. Bring it out here in the light. Let's see what we got. I'm put it Might be new. Yeah. Oh, it looks brand new. Yeah. I can get it out of the box. Get out. What is that? Comforter. A pillow, comforter, something, whatever it is, it's like tightly packed in tape. I can't really tell what it is though, but it's pretty. All right, ooh, this box has some weight to it. Let's see, ooh, hopefully it wasn't anything expensive. <laughs> tape up storage, somebody's room. Let's see what they have. Okay, right off the bat, VHS. Oh boy. Some clothes. Come here. This is vlogging, okay. Ooh, mail. Oh, yes. You got mail and VHS tapes in one box. I'm so jealous. And a Mary Kay bag with, what is this? I don't know, some kind of fabric. Lucky. Let's put that in here. Here's a watch. It is Alex L. I guess that might be personalized. I don't know if Alex L is a brand. We have Anything in the Bible for the, the first time? Everybody always says check them. Book. Never happened yet. Let's see. New World Translation of Holy Scriptures. I don't think that's a Bible. Is that a Bible? Oh, no, no. I'll look like it. <laughs> VHS. VHS. Oh boy. This thing here. This tape. Cassette tapes. Ooh, another favorite of mine. Smell on a fun trip to the dump. And what is this? Ooh. Look at that. You have two cassette tape plate things and then a little TV right here. Hmm. That's one of those things that could weirdly be worth a lot. I know. Completely worthless. So this is sound design model number 4874 black. 
Well, all right then. Yeah, that. Then pull this out. It's stuck. Get out. Unstuck it. This looks like something that I used to have. It's like one of those like five big CD changers. I used to have one of these Yeah, too. I used to have one. That was the coolest thing ever. One of those. Unfortunately, it's on the top. Just think how impressive we are about five CDs. Now we have something that fits in the palm of your hand. They can hold 10,000 songs. I know. This right here. Ooh. This gotta have gospel, okay? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have like family tapes of gospel music. A couple books there. Random box of the flea market. Maybe five dollars total in there. Pull this out. This is pretty light. It says fragile glass on it though. I don't think glass is light. Whatever cactus. Oh box. Is this Christmas? No, don't it's break our streak. Christmas. No! It is. We broke our streak. Yep. Christmas. There's like ornaments in here. Hold on. Ornaments, uh, just glass balls. Boring. Get out of here! Oh. Oh, okay. See what we got. Ooh, a FedEx shipping box. Well. What's in the package? Cards. Boring. And more cards. Gee, that's a lot. Yeah. Um, let me just pull out like one. We'll definitely check all of these like we always do when we get home. That in there. Empty box. It's a Good shipping box. Yeah. I mean, all these types of box. If we have anything small, ship them in there. Eat your peas Ew, for no. mom. Simple truths and happy insights. Okay. Never. An old heating pad. There's another box in here. Here's another box. And a piece of box and a magazine. 80 pounds of tape. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh my god, it's a whole box full of magazines. Oh yes! And candles. Woo! And bangles. We're definitely gonna get a dump shop. I'm so excited. And a skirt and some... I like a mini slinky. It has Lightning McQueen on it. <laughs> Let's see what's over here. Cats will love this one. <laughs> it's a little ball for them to play with. Uh, a couple more, like, no, those are all books. Never mind. I was about to say VHS tapes, but that's a trash box. We got a whole stack of boxes back here, and I opened up a few. They're all, like, super taped. I don't want to bore you guys with opening up teat boxes. Let's see what's in here. This just has storage on it. Jeez. <laughs> When's the last time you seen these? So we have some Kodak cameras. I guess these are like the throwaway ones. Yeah. Are they? Or mm -hmm. you put the little reel in it or something? Those are it. What's this? Somebody tells me that it always screws and nails in this thing. I'm going to say sewing stuff. Yeah, one of those boring things like that. Alright, so I literally had to bend the top because I can't get this piece out of here. But it's just more of these things. More of the reels that go on the camera. So, again, don't want to bore you with that stuff. This right here says speaker. Is it a speaker? Got it. Okay, that's a back one with paper. Okay, and that is quite a speaker. Literally one speaker. I got some styrofoam in this one. See what's under the styrofoam. What are these? Like animal print, handmade clay things. I don't know what they're used for. Maybe a candle or something, but they all have like animal print like this on them. That's pretty cool. Let's see what's in this one. What is this? Somebody tell me what this is because I have a, a no idea. A thing of a bob. Does it go on my head? Ah, you probably just got lice now. Haha. -ha. Now you have lice. Oh well. Maybe go on. That's alright, there's another thing for it. Here's another one. A black one. Looks the exact same. I still don't know what it is. Oh well. Oh, no. It's in here. Oh no, I thought we had a Those oh. are pretty used headphones. Oh we have a purse here though. Ooh, look at the box right here. Come on. Haha, -ha. and there's a jewelry box. The same it says Monet on it. Let's see what's Please. in here. More of these camera. Ew! What'd you touch? It's wet. Why is it wet? I don't know. What is that? What is that? What is that? Why is there like know. twine around it? Just 
I don't Go like, away thingy. It's like kind of. I don't know what it is. I'm just gonna set it right there. All right. Um, just like put this holder. This thing. More cards. Gotta be something. Change purse is empty. More cards. Right. More cards. All right. Nothing in that purse. Let's check our two cards uh. up here. Oh, it sounds like there's something it's in there. In there. What is a Monet mm. bracelet? I don't um, know what they're worth. Let's see if I can see a number on it. Um, it just says the brand name on the little clasp right here. I don't see where it says like the carrot. If it is, is that right. there? Um, is this a Bible? Yes. Let's see it's in here. What was that? I don't know, I missed it. I'll check. Tissues. All right, what's in here? Because everything else looks like Does that have some weight to it? Oh, yeah. I mean, a little bit. Ready? Yeah. Oh, what is that? Okay. It's a pretty jewelry box, much. but it's like one piece of an earring, another piece of an earring, and a back. Oh, this boy. part doesn't even lift out, so there's no secret compartments, but... The box is cool. Now let's see what's in this clear container. What do we got? Let's see a VHS tape here. Scooby Doo, Doo Zombie Island from 1998. Scooby Doo. There. Is it holding anything? No. That's a cool basket. Mm. Oh, this is protecting like a porcelain doll. It looks like. What's in here? There's like. Okay, this is weird. Hold on. <laughs> so, we have a bear. We have the bear has a box. We open the box. We see tissues. Take the tissues out. There's a there's a name on it, but there's a Wells Fargo Mastercard, and then pieces of what looks like tobacco. I hope it's tobacco. What the heck? And that other stuff. No, actually, I have it here. I keep forgetting. I'm not used to California yet. And this. Is just a bunch of mail. See what this is. Is that a VCR? This is like protected, huh? Like this? Yeah. Um, looks like another stereo thing. Yes, yeah, an older yeah. stereo. Right. And then this. Oh, that was a cassette. I don't know if that has any value. It looks like something that wouldn't, but who knows? Okay. Come on, now we're getting to the dang corner of the unit. We gotta find something. Uh. Well, this doesn't look like Who it. Who stores this? Why do you store this? Oh, the whole thing oh my gosh. Set, the dump know. special. Dump yeah. Sunday right there. No, thank you. Personal. It what says... do you got personal? This. Oh, yeah. It's taped. It's not totally um, empty. It's empty. I'm going to cut them. Sorry. <laughs> I had to tell you. Let's see. Let's shut this out. Um, Papers. What is this? And what is that? Ew, it has hair in it. That's, I don't know. Is this a straightener? It looks like it's it says me. straight ends and flips. Gross. Right, hair designer. Obviously used. <gasps> what is that? Oh. I think I know what it is. Oh, why what did a it troll. be broken? What a troll. Look at that. What kind of knife That's is so that? Sad. Let I'm me gonna see kill it. you. <laughs> hmm. Right. Dang it. It looks cooler when you know like this right there. You probably can tighten it. Yeah. That's kind well, of cool. hopefully you can tighten it. Here's a little piece for it. My grandpa gave me one of those not too long ago. Except mine isn't flimsy. See what's in here. <gasps> oh, Ooh, look at this. That definitely has stuff in it. Please be valuable. Oh, how do you open it this way? Oh. Ooh, this stuff is heavy too. Well, mm. something in here is heavy. I don't like that. This looks fake. Yeah, hold on. So this says Snappy A, N A P I E R. There's yeah, that one. Yeah, look at that. Look at those diamonds. Or oh, probably cubic zirconia. I mean, it looks nice though. Where's the clasp at? Here. I don't know. 
Let me keep that one. These are what clip on earrings. Yeah, how about that necklace thing? And then bracelet. this one. Let's see what does it say down here? Try free. New oh boy, that's good. No. Yeah, I don't know. This one might have some value. I don't see any markings on that one yet, but I also don't want to take time to like look that closely, but at least we found some kind of jewelry box there. So maybe there's other stuff in here. It's all wrapped up. What is this? Old clock. Okay. The puzzle place numbers one through twelve, or something else. Oh, Why are you boy. wrapping candles? That's a candle. This is mail, and we got some DVDs down here. Okay, let's get down here. I'm losing my energy here. Come on. Oh boy. This is empty. Looks like even more paperwork. My favorite mm -hmm. magazines. Yes. yes. Okay. Flexible faucet. <laughs> Mail. Uh -oh. Mail. Magazines. Do I see something? Oh, yeah. Look! Look at that. This is a new car. Whatever. I don't care about that. Look at this. Check that out. That's a good looking jewelry box right here. Come on. Let's see what we got. Oh, there's some stuff there's in there. some bags bag. in here. Oh, little UPS car. Mm. Um, this thingy. None. No, I don't see marking on it. There's little lockets. Earrings, earrings, another little locket. Ooh. Pearls. Uh, yeah, pearls. There's a Movado. Did mm. I say Movado? Yeah, Movado watch. All right, that might have something. And the pearls might be real. Maybe. Do the teeth test, ready? They feel fake. Not good. Tooth test, if you don't know. Scratch pearls against your teeth. If you feel grainy, they're real. Oh. What is that? Got hiding back there. I know, what is this? There's something in here. Okay. That's the gold ring we've been looking for. With all the diamonds. Some earrings. Oh boy. Yep. Yay. Has to have some personal value. Why it's like packaged that way. That um. Yeah, not any other things open. That's so we have the Mavado watch and some other costume jewelry. <sighs> all right, guys. I've literally <laughs> sat here and opened probably. 10, 15 of these little boxes here. And literally all they're filled with is magazines. They're like all dated and whatever. Some of them are covering personal pictures. Others are literally just magazines. So, I mean, we have a few more boxes to open, but really nothing so far. But if we do find an interesting looking box, then we'll come back. All right guys, so we obviously didn't come back inside the unit. So we're home for the mini recap out of this unit. So. I have a few things that I want to talk about. One that was very surprising, and another one that was a little bit of a letdown, but that's all right. So uh, this thing right here that I said was sound design, model number 4874. We couldn't even find sold listings of this on eBay. Um, we could have missed it, I don't know. It doesn't have the antenna, so there's like some things wrong with it, but if you guys know um, the price to anything like this, please let us know down in the comments. Next is the Monet bracelet. We, can't, we don't see any markings on the bracelet, so we're unsure on the price on this. But if anybody's interested in this being listed on eBay or something like that, just let us know again. All right, so the jewelry box. Overall, the jewelry box is really cool looking. It's just a nice looking jewelry box. The jewelry inside was mostly fake. The pearls were fake. The Movado watch, actually, we have to get looked at because I know there are counterfeit Movados and Movado is a good brand. So we have to get that looked at. Otherwise, everything else is just going into a costume jewelry lot and then we'll sell the jewelry box separately not sure um if that would it'd probably be a flea market thing honestly this i thought had more value than it actually does it's a general electric 
Uh, model number 8101, so when I looked it up, there's a bug in there. Anyway, when I looked it up on eBay, I was seeing it go for auction and stuff. Said like five or ten bucks. I mean, honestly, at a flea market, I'd probably charge five bucks for it. So that's flea market pile. The very last thing was very surprising, but very good. So this little Game Boy Advance game, Fire Emblem, looked it up on eBay. We can get between thirty and fifty dollars just for this little game right here so that was super surprising considering and good considering all the rest of that unit was literally magazines books home videos before i forget there was another part of this unit that we wanted to let you guys know of so we found some of the magazines and the new newspapers in there dated to 2013 so we assume that that unit's been sitting there for about seven years and that's when they <laughs> seven seven years and that's when they packed it so that's the best assumption we could come up with so seven years um about 120 dollars a month for a five by ten storage unit across seven years about ten thousand dollars think about paying ten thousand dollars for that stuff in that unit doesn't make much sense but i guess it had personal values anyway if you did enjoy it Leave it a big fat thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, don't forget to check out the Jeeves Family channel too because we just started uploading on that one again. Peace out.